Hi, this is Dave Golly, and uh, been asked the question how to apply purnings to a member at St Nigel in Revit 2013. Uh, you can see here I have a very simple layout and um, what I'm going to do is pick two of the columns and I'm going to change the top, top offset to 1250. I'm going to change this B member here, 1250 as shown, and I'm just going to change this member as well, as shown. So, Really what I want to do is put a purlin run along here, but if I draw that in plan, it's going to be straight. I need it running at the angle. So what I'm going to do at level two, I'm going to have a look at a framing elevation. So I'm going to go to my view, elevation, and framing elevation as shown. So I can double click, activate my framing elevation, and quite simply, I need to create a reference line. Now typically I would tidy this up, but I'm just going to simply create a reference plane along the top. So under my architecture tab, I'm going to go to reference plane, I'm going to go to pick. I'm going to pick on the top of the member because that's physically where my rafter is. Now you can tab over and rename the reference plane in here so I could say this Perlin layout. I'll show. Um, it means I can use this reference plane when in a plan view. So if I go back into level two, I'm ready to add in um, my Perlins. First thing I'm going to do is set my reference plane. So I'm going to go to set and you'll see my reference plane, Perlin layout is actually um, available in the work plane. So simply hit OK and I'm going to draw my structural member, which is a beam. Um, from my beam, I can load a member from the library. So I don't have my Perlins available. I'm simply going to go load. It'll go into my standard UK library and we'll look at framing. I will look at light gauge steel and we'll bring in a dog bone purlin. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, a common mistake is made is that you can't see it in the view. If you change the view from top to bottom, it should bring it along the bottom. And because I'm on the reference plane in here, you'll get to see this in my 3D view as shown. So you can see that and put it on consistent colours in there. So if I go into my elevation view, Again, you can see my purling. So simply, um, if I want to array that, all I'll do is go to array, pick up on it. I could type in uh, 900 centers. I'll say do six, like so, and I'll fit them in. So very easily, using reference planes, I can actually tie in my purling detail along here. Thanks for listening.